Did you enjoy high school? No, like seriously, did you enjoy high school? Go ahead and leave the answer in the comments. Well, if I had to guess, you most likely said no, especially if you are near my age. The age range from 17 to 22. I bet you hated high school, or I don't know, you might be neutral on it. But I know one thing's for certain is that you wish you did more things you actually wanted to do in high school. Go on that trip, ask that girl out, have an amazing prom, you know, the usual shit we see in movies, anime, and video games. Which is what actually inspired this video, the video game Persona. Persona as a series has been really fast growing as of recently, and I use a ton of Persona music in my videos if you somehow didn't notice. But if you don't know anything about the game, I'll briefly explain why this game has anything to do with this topic. In a Persona game, you usually play as a college or high school student and have a big friend group you interact with and go on many adventures and endeavors with. You are also able to interact with other classmates and develop a friendship called a social link. There are many of these and they each have their own unique story and personality to them. Basically, you do the things most of us wish we did in school. Plus, live a secret second life where you investigate murders, which is beside the point. Playing a Persona game really makes you want to go back to school. Well, at least go back if it's going to be anything like the game. I know it makes me wish I had the kind of high school life they are having in the game. Because during quarantine, I was playing Persona 3 nonstop in my room. I was that person I wanted to be. I was unrealistic as I was. I was past the point of thinking that high school was going to be anything like this anyway. As again, it was during quarantine and we all know how long that lasted so I never went back to school. But for someone going to their freshman year of high school, I can really see why people are disappointed with their high school experience when they compare it to what they see in anime, video games, movies, and now social media. Like fuck, Persona 5 makes it look like I went to a kindergarten for high school. Even though many people now know this, I still think it's an issue. I think it's worse once you are already in high school. I mean, you have games like Persona and Slice of Life anime. I mean, basically every other Slice of Life anime is in high school or college. And for how big anime is now, yeah, you bet these kids going into high school are thinking their life is going to be just like Clannad or some shit. Not literally, of course, these sources of media could also just be used as an escape method for young teenagers, which I know I did subconsciously. That's not to say that people can't just enjoy these pieces of media at a young age. Okay, I know people don't think like that, but you can't lie and say it subconsciously. You definitely thought your high school life was going to be something like the movies and shows. But you know what Clannad and Persona and all these other high school shows don't have in them? All the bullshit you have to deal with in school, like having to ask to go to the bathroom. In Persona, look how unrealistic this is. He just walked into the bathroom without even asking. How? You really realize how stupid that shit is now. Teachers really dictating when we can go take a shit. Honestly, if you are still in high school, do me a favor from now on and stop asking to use the bathroom. Just go, please. Also, all the annoying people you have to deal with. In games, you can usually just fast forward through annoying people and they luckily don't get enough screen time in movies and shows anyways. But in real life, you can't really do much. First of all, you are tired of shit from doing homework last night and it's 8am and people are already yelling and starting some bullshit in the hallway. I really don't get how they had enough energy for that really. What I wanted to mainly say in this video is while all this media portrays high school as perfect and the best time of your life, which it could be for some, most of the time we all know it isn't. Like I said, we're insecure and don't really get to do the things we really want to. But how about instead of going home and escaping to these games or shows, you actually invite your friends out after school. If no one is inviting you to plans, you make the plans. If nothing exciting is going on, you make something exciting happen. I mean, all this stuff isn't going to come from nowhere. You also have all the power to make fun moments happen during high school. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect, but at least you can say you try to make the most out of it. Obviously, it's not going to be like the shows and posts on social media you see. It's going to be actually better. You see, because you aren't spending your time comparing your life to it. With the time you would have spent consuming it, you are trying to make memories. That's why many of us aren't satisfied with our school life because we all waited for something to happen. We waited for someone else to invite us out late at night instead of doing it ourselves. Our high school life isn't going to be perfect, it doesn't have to be, but it also doesn't have to be miserable. I think everyone should try to at least do something, literally anything, to make something memorable. Okay, so while researching this video, I also came across this TikTok trend, I guess, where people explain how to romanticize your school life. I mean, I'm not in high school anymore and it's the summer, but let's follow some of these tips, I guess. So first one is uh, make a school playlist, which for me, I don't usually have like specific playlist for certain things. I actually make playlists based off like the month we're in. So right now we're in March, I mean May. And right now we're in May, so I have a May 2022 playlist where I just put all the new songs I wanted to listen to and just put them into one playlist and just listen to them. So that's what we usually do. But let's make a brand new school playlist. Okay, let's title this school playlist music 
for a bus ride and hallway walks. All right, let's begin. First, adding some of my favorite songs as of currently, because can't go wrong with that. I'm also gonna add some ambient music so I can listen to it in the hallway. This one's four hours long, so I think that's be pretty sufficient. But if that isn't enough, I'm gonna add some more. Obviously adding some persona music, why not? It's literally from a school, so of course. Where's that one song? Okay, this is what we have so far. I'm gonna add a little more. Let's see the recommended. Okay, I think that's good. Probably gonna get roasted in the comments for this, but but I like this playlist and I see no issue with it. Perfect school playlist, yeah. Perfect. Another thing people said is getting dressed for school, which do people not get dressed for school anymore? I mean, that's pretty basic to me. As long as you're putting in some effort, you should be fine. Don't gotta do a whole ass fashion tutorial. Honestly, that's true. In high school, as long as you put slightly above average effort into your outfits, you're honestly gonna be like top 5% dressed in your whole school, unless you somehow go to like a fashion school. The next one is stay organized and take aesthetic notes. I don't know, for me when I was in school, even now, that shit's, oh my god, that's just so annoying to do. Well, staying organized, yeah, as I've gone older, I wanna be more clean and organized, but taking aesthetic notes, there's no way I'm doing that shit, especially when I was in high school. You don't gotta do all that. As long as you're keeping track of your schoolwork, you don't gotta be worried about shit. Also, another tip, this is like extreme life hack, by the way. Do not check your grades. Like, I don't get why people will be doing that. Like, don't check your grades. That's just gonna make you more stressed out, which makes you do worse in school, which is gonna just repeat in a cycle. All you gotta do is, first of all, don't check your grades. Second of all, all you gotta do is have your schoolwork in a list and just check off all the things you need to do. As long as you do it, why would you have a bad grade if you're doing all your schoolwork and you're doing all your tests and you're doing all your quizzes? So no need to check your grades if you know you're doing all your work. I don't see the need to go above and beyond for notes when you can use that time to actually have like fun, like I said before, and do actual fun things. See, so yeah, that's my take on that. Another one I've been seeing a lot is making a Pinterest board, which, uh, why? I don't get why you, why you wouldn't make a Pinterest board when you can like take your own pictures of the things you are doing and just have them in like your photo library. So the Pinterest board thing, completely disagree. Take your own pictures and put them up on your wall or something, print them out, print them out, put them up on your wall or have them as your wallpaper. That's all you gotta do. To be honest, I think having a Pinterest board is worse than not having one because you can be comparing yourself and your school life to the pictures you have on your Pinterest board and the school life you actually want. Instead of the time you took making the Pinterest board, how about you spend time trying to make the life that your Pinterest board is portraying. But my overall thoughts on this trend is that I just think it's pretty cool and people are trying to make the most out of their school life and stuff. But I think it also has the problem of instead of actually taking action, people are just trying to make their life more aesthetic, which doesn't really help the problem. Your life is still pretty much boring. It's just more aesthetic. You have an aesthetic, boring school life, so I don't get the point to that. You can actually try to make it better and funner instead of just making it look better and more aesthetic. So yeah, that's my take on romanticizing high school during video today, and we'll probably continue to do more variety like this. So if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. Almost at 100 subs and more content coming soon.